Andy Wears the Martian talks a lot about lessons learned from Apollo 13, namely how to use something for what it was not designed to do, like using Andy Weir's The Martian talks a lot about lessons learned from Apollo 13, namely how NASA used the lunar module as a lifeboat to save the crew when their oxygen tank exploded. But how did that idea even come to be in the first place? That's what we're looking at today on Vintage Space. The story of how NASA decided to use the lunar module as a lifeboat on Apollo 13 sort of goes back to 1963. In September of that year, Joe Shea became the Apollo program's manager, and at the time, the lunar module was not totally defined as a spacecraft yet. And its chief engineer, Tom Kelly, really needed help really nailing down the design so that his team could start actually building the spacecraft. This attempt to nail down the lunar module design requirements led to the Apollo Mission Planning Task Force. Formed in January of 1964, it included representatives from NASA, North American Aviation, which was the company building the command and service modules, as well as MIT. Under the leadership of engineer Tom Barnes, the task force was tasked with answering really hard what-if questions, and answering these questions led to the creation of the Detailed Reference Mission. This reference mission was a complete flight plan for a theoretical mission to the moon launching on May 8th of 1968. It included every single mission activity from liftoff to splashdown, as well as all kinds of solutions to possible failures and all kinds of contingencies. One really big thing to come out of this task force was the realization that the lunar module could be used as a lifeboat if there was a catastrophic failure in the command service module during the outbound leg of the trip, that is, on the way to the moon. The lunar module's designers realized that the spacecraft could support a mission in an emergency situation if it had enough consumables and fuel on board. And because the lunar module's design wasn't completely set in stone by this time, they actually built the spacecraft with some extra room to take on these extra consumables to give it this emergency capability. It wasn't that much of a change. The tanks in the lunar module were increased in size by about 10 to 15 percent just to carry the extra consumables. Six years later, that design decision paid off. When the crew of Apollo 13 used those extra consumables to get home safely. Are there any unconventional usages of Apollo hardware that you guys love? Let me know in the comments below, and of course leave your questions in the comment section below as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space for all kinds of spacey updates every day of the week, and with episodes going up Tuesdays and Fridays, be sure to subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.